Welcome back to Ozarks Live. The Community Blood Center of the Ozarks has started their 18th annual Bleed Red Blood Drive in conjunction with the Springfield Cardinals. Yeah, and Tom is live over at the Blood Center to find out all the details. So Tom, I just got to know, are you bleeding red? I'm going to be in just a little <laughs> bit, as a matter of fact, to show you that this is really not that tough. Everybody can do it if you fall in these Really, it's a wide parameter, so most everyone can donate. I have Michelle with me right now. And Michelle, kind of explain what, what is going on with the Bleed Red campaign. So this is our 18th annual Bleed Red Blood mm -hmm. Drive. It is like our largest blood drive that we do. And we do it to restock the shelves after a long holiday weekend. Yeah. So we have a lot of fun promotional items to get people in the door. Um, it's with the Springfield Cardinals. You get a T-shirt. So you get you get one of these just for coming in to donate. You get some. Okay, swag. but you get yep. some other yep. stuff. You get two tickets to the Springfield Cardinals game. You get a Hardee's coupons and a ticket to the Ozark Empire Fair general admission ticket. Yeah. And then you can enjoy some ballpark food too here I've while seen you're waiting. You do some hot dogs. Hot and things dogs, like that. soda, chips. Yeah. So you can go to the ball game before you get to the ball yes. game. Yes. This well, is nice. Well, pregame. Yeah. Exactly. Now, of course, I was saying a little earlier, so many people can donate, but I think people, many times they get the idea that the reason you donate blood is because of maybe accidents or surgery, but it really stretches much more than that, does it not? Right, you gotta have blood on hand on the shelves for everyday procedures um, and then the emergencies, but there are people who are doing cancer treatment that mm -hmm. sometimes they need a transfusion, maybe sometimes during birth or just a surgery and something somebody needs one. Yeah, sometimes the X factor. You don't know when you're going right. to need it. It's better to have more than you need than not enough. Right. It's one of these right. important things. Right. Who can donate blood? So that's kind of a tricky question because the average individual can donate. Only 3% do. So, you know, this is a great time for a first-time donor to come in. Yeah. And then they'll go through the health history questions and then they'll find out if they can donate after they answer the health history questions. And the nice thing that if you do donate, of course, they'll remind you when you can donate again. So right. you don't even have to keep track of that right. sort of thing. Right, exactly. Yeah. How long does it take this whole process, you about know? About an hour altogether is what I would block out. Uh -huh. And really, if you think about it, an hour is not that much time to be able to save somebody else's life. You know, there's a lot of negative things going on right now. And if you could help save somebody's life and it only took an hour and it didn't cost you anything, there you go. that's a win-win. And as we all know, these negative things, they pop up. They They're happen. a surprise. And right. this is why you need this right. blood supply. How wide of an area does the CBCO cover? Because you all have a pretty wide footprint. We do, we do. So we cover about 40 counties mm -hmm. and about 44 area hospitals that we supply the blood to. We have a donor center in Springfield. We have a donor center in Joplin, right. um, Bentonville, Arkansas, and Springdale, Arkansas. So we have hospitals around those areas as well. Okay, now in the, the Bleed Red campaign, that's Springfield since right. the Cardinals are right. here. Right, right. How long is this all going to be going on? It's till the end of this week, so Friday, Tuesday okay. to Friday. So you could come in and see us. We're open from 8 to 6, Monday, or well, not Monday, that was 4th of July, yeah. Tuesday through Friday. How, how in, you know, in the grand scheme of things then, how important is this blood drive, you know, to the needs of, well, the needs of the community? It's very actually. important. Um, unfortunately, during the summer, our donations go down. Mm -hmm. um, we get 40% of our donations um, from high schools and colleges, and we don't have the opportunity during the summer to work with them. Mm -hmm. So this is a big community drive to get community members in, get them in through the door. And, you know, a lot more tragedies happen during the summer. Yeah, people Hospital are out usages more. usages of the blood goes up. Now, you know, what have you seen so far as far as, you know, the age range of people coming in? It's a wide range. You can be um, 17 to... So like, you can't do it yeah, anymore. Yeah, till they say, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. Now that might just be because of a medication, Your Honor, something like sure, that. Sure, and that's, you know, that's that's part of the whole procedure is they'll, they're going to check all of these things, you know, to make sure that you right. qualify as a donor. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't take too long. You get snacks at the end. But again, tell them just for walking in what they're going to do. Yeah, be just for coming in, you get a, a fun t shirt. Mm -hmm. You get two tickets to a Springfield Cardinals game, and you get um, a ticket to the Ozarks Empire Fair coming up, and some Hardee's coupons. This and is some good. Concession and, and whether you're a Cardinals fan or not doesn't make any difference. If you're a Royals fan, 
you still get a free shirt. You probably know I'm going to bet someone in the area who would like to have this shirt. And it's soft. It's comfy. Yes, it is. It's it's that kind of pre-worn feel, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's a brand no, new no, shirt. Yeah, it's so brand they just want to make this. So again, tell people where the CBCO is located and the hours that you're open for Bleed Red Blood Drive. So the donor center is on the can corner of Campbell and Plainview in Springfield mm -hmm. that you can come see us. We're open from 8 to 6 and this will go on till Friday. All right. So come on by, make your donation, get some swag, get some fun ballpark food. It's going to be great. Now, when we come back, I'm going to show you that if I can donate blood, you can too. We're going to, I'm going to donate blood. So you don't can't cry on camera. Yes, I can. It's yes, painless. I can. I'm kidding. It's I can. Painless. I can. <laughs> but we'll be back with that in just a little bit, guys. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Tom. This is such a like cool, I think, initiative they're doing over there. So definitely, yes. people should go out and donate. Yes. All right. Well, after the break, we are excited to have Mark Barger back in studio performing live. That's right. You don't want to miss it.